Hey everyone, it's Katie with One Music School, and today we're going to learn a version of Thinking Out Loud by Ed Sheeran on the guitar. I'm going to be teaching you some easy options as well as what's going on in the actual track. So you can choose which option is best for you, or you can flip-flop between the two. So first we have a D. Finger number three is going to be on the third fret of the B string. Then finger number two and one will be on the second fret of the G and the E string. Then we have a D over F sharp. So Keep this here. Your thumb is going to curl over and it's going to push down on the second fret of the E string, the string closest to your nose. If you're having a little trouble with this, bring your elbow up just a little bit. From here we have a G. Plant your pinky underneath on the third fret and then you're going to lift fingers one and two off. Place finger number one on the second fret of the A string. Finger number two on the third fret of the E string closest to your nose. You could use this G or this G, whatever is most comfortable for you. I just think it's a really great transition from D, D over F sharp, and you just plant your pinky, bring those two up. Then we have an A. From here, take that ring finger, leave it there, slide it over, and stack the other two on top. I call it the slide and stack. And everything's going to be in the second fret. So finger one, two, three will be in the second fret of the D, G, and the B string. Here we have a E minor. So in E minor, you have your focus box, uh -huh, fingers two and three. Those are gonna go on the second fret of the A and the D string. And then here we have a B minor. So if this is your first bar chord, you're going to push down on the second fret with finger number one, and I'm gonna roll my finger onto its side. I hope you can see that. I'm bringing my elbow just a little bit closer to my body for more leverage. And um, I'm not going to be playing that E string right there. It's going to be muted. And how I mute that is that I'm taking the very tip of my pointer finger and I'm just lightly touching it so that if I strum it, you won't be able to hear that low rumbling E. Now you're going to take fingers three and four, place that on the fourth fret of the G and the D string, and then finger number two goes on the third fret of the B string. Bring your fingers as close to the frets as you possibly can. You're going to have more success that way. And now for the easy option with the counts. We have a D first, and then I'm going to tap my strings, just stop them from vibrating. Then I have my D over F sharp. I strum again, tap, G, tap, and then A, tap. So it's going to be one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. So it's very important that you make sure that your counts are on the and, especially one and two and three and four and one and two a. So the D over F sharp and the A, they're on the and. It really gives that song the feel that it has. So if you do it just straight and even, it'll sound stiff. Now we have the easy option for the pre-chorus. I'm going to still be strumming and tapping in between. So E minor, and two, and three, and A, one, and two, and three, and four, and E minor, one, and two, and three, and A, one, and two, and three, and E minor, one, and two, and three, and A, one, and two, quick B minor, E minor, and then for the A, we're just going to strum down on eighth notes. One and two and three, and then after count three, I touch my strings and I mute them. So for the chorus, it's the same thing as the verse, so you don't have to learn anything new, yay! So now we have the maybe we found love right where we are. The B minor, A, G, and D over F sharp, those are all held for one count. And if you don't like counting, it falls right above a certain word. So there, that's a, it's a bonus for you. <laughs> so we have a B minor on we, A on found, G on love, and then right is D over F sharp. E minor, one and two and three and four and where we are. So I'm gonna do that again. We found love right where 
We are. So now for the finger picking part, and it revolves around the chords. So first we have a D chord, and I'm going to use fingers one, two, and three on my right hand, and I am going to pluck the E, B, and the G string. Now we do a hammer on. I'm going to lift finger number one off, and then I'm going to pluck the same strings, and then I'm going to do a hammer on. So my pointer finger is hammering on to the G string right here. A hammer on happens when your finger hits the string and the sound actually comes from the string hitting the fret. So we, I'm gonna tap in between, find my D over F sharp. These three fingers come one closer to my nose and my thumb is going to play that F sharp. Tap in between. Instead of playing the full G, I'm just going to take finger number two, place it on the third fret because this is my G root note and I'm going to play those same strings that I did for the G over F sharp. Tap. So for the A, instead of here, I'm going to bar the second fret and you'll see why. I'm going to pluck the D string with my thumb. Then with my pointer finger, I'm going to pluck the G string. I'm going to do a hammer on to the fourth fret. And I'm going to do a pull off. A pull off happens when my finger here is going to pull down on the string until it actually plucks the string. So hammer on, pull off, and then I'm going to hammer on to the fourth fret of the D string. So it'll sound like this. And then you repeat that over and over again. You can switch between that option for your verses and your choruses, or you could just use the simple counts like I did before. For the pre-chorus, I'm going to have my E minor right here. I'm going to be taking my thumb, pointer, middle, and my ring finger, and I'm going to be plucking all four of these strings. And there's a tap in between. Then we have an A. I'm going to be bringing all of my fingers down one string closer to my toes, pluck those strings. Tap, and then we have a D. Tap. So if you notice, all four fingers are engaged with a string. They're plucking a string. So here's first, E minor. A comes closer to my toes, and then D, one more closer to my toes. So we have E minor, A, D, E minor, A, E minor again, A, quick B minor, so if you notice, my right hand kept playing the same strings, and then my left hand was in position for the chord. E minor. And same thing as we did in the simple counts for the A. One and two and three. And then it goes into the chorus. Now, take me into. 
baby. We found love right where we are. And when my hair's all but gone and my memory fades, and the crowds don't remember my name, when my hands don't play the strings the same way. You will still love me the same Cause honey your soul could never grow old it's evergreen And baby your smiles forever be in my mind and memory I'm thinking about how People fall in love in mysterious ways Maybe it's all part of a plan Well, I'll just keep on making the same mistakes Hoping that you'll understand That baby now I hope you enjoyed this version of Thinking Out Loud by Ed Sheeran. I hope you enjoyed the different options. Choose whatever one is best for you and uh, let me know what you want to see in the comment section below. I love hearing from you. I love hearing your suggestions and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.